mag-record ako ta o pang grade 5. Ayun na, sir. English, sir grade 5, module 6, lesson 2. Ang scriptwriter, Ani, si Ma'am Vivian Ramado Clarit. Ako lang iapos mo siya, no? <laughs> okay, so, nagya po na sa Teleradio Numero 1 Production Office para mag-record ang mga lessons pang grade 5. Okay, so, inaot, mga grade 5 na itong mga isudyante din na makatanaw, Ani, aron sila po makakatkon. Okay? English. Dila ka kay taas ka, dila ka. Sige. And... Yan ha. Mura kiwa ko diri doon. Yan na. Okay, live na. Go. Go. Mabungahong nga daw ka na itong tanan. Hello, grade 5 pupils. This is teacher Vivian Ramado Clarit of Illigan City Division, Region 10. I will be your teacher in grade 5 English lesson today. After going through this module, you are expected to Number 1. Infer the meaning of unfamiliar words. Affix based on given text clues. Synonyms and antonyms. Number 2. Follow directions carefully. And number 3. Write the meaning of the given affix words. But before that, Please prepare your English 5, Quarter 1, Module 6, Lesson 2, Module. Open it on pages 1 to 6. Prepare also your journals and your bow pens. Then, find a place where you can sit comfortably and be ready to learn new lesson in English with me. Grade 5 pupils, how are you today? We're okay. We're all right. We're feeling good today. That's great. Today, we will start the lesson with a review through this text. Listen to the directions. Below are some nouns. Add one of these suffixes. Just choose ship, ness, less, men. I on the words below to make a new word. Okay, get ready. Number one, citizen. What will you add? Is it ship, nest, less, men, ion, and dom or dom? The answer is ship, meaning that is. What is the, the full word? The full word, ma'am, is citizenship. Very good. How about number two? Read it, Lindale. Number two is govern plus blank. We would add govern plus meant, which is government. government. Very good. Move to number three. Number three is free plus blank. Free plus dom is equals to freedom. Okay, very good. Next, number four. Number four, good plus blank. Mm -hmm. Good plus ness is equals to goodness. Okay. Move to number five. Number five. Perfect plus blank. Mm -hmm. Perfect plus ness is perfectness. Very good. All your answers are correct. Now this time, let's have exercise B. Directions. Combine the prefixes on the left with the words on the right to form new words using a line. Okay? Get ready. We have here for A, number one, in, number two, ill, number three, none, number four, this, and number five is er. Then, letter B, we have here regular, agree, complete, stop, legal. Okay? 
Now, you are going to connect or combine. Who can do it? Let's have Rico. Okay, Rico. Number one is? Number one is in mm -hmm. complete. Oh, very good. Incomplete. That's right. So, in, in plus complete. Next, Dale. Number two, il plus legal is illegal. Yes, that's right. Number three. It's none plus stop. Non-stop. Yes, you are correct. Number four. Number four. This plus agree is disagree. Yes, you're right. Number five. Number five is er plus regular. It's irregular. Very good. How about giving yourselves fireworks clap? Ready? Okay, let's move. So all your answers are correct. Now, are you familiar with the, with the words uh, shown inside the box that is found on page two of your English module? Mm, no, oh. ma. Mm -hmm. These words are prefixes, suffixes, and affixes. Let us try to familiarize these words and analyze the missing word. Still in the missing, missing page. A missing word to complete the idea. Choose the right word inside the box. Okay, let's start reading. Blank is a letter or a group of letters added to the beginning or end of a word to change its meaning. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I think the answer is affixes, mom. Or beginning and end. So it could be uh, affixes. Yes, you are right. Mm, that's correct. Okay, next. Black are sometimes called postfixes, word endings that add a certain meaning to the word. They also change the function or speech part of the base word. Mm -hmm. Suffixes, ma'am. Yes, you are right. And the last one. Mm, blank is a type of affix that are placed at the beginning of a word to modify or change the meaning of that word. Mm -hmm. My answer, ma'am, is prefixes. Yes, very good. You are all correct. Your knowledge of prefixes helps widen your vocabulary and boost your reading comprehension. Affix or affixes, a letter or group of letters added to the beginning or end of a word to change its meaning. It could be a prefix or suffix. Examples of affixes. As, A-N-C-E, Al, Abel, Aus or O-U-S, Nes, U-N or Un, Dis or D-I-S, Miss or M-I-S, E-X or X, I-R or Er, and more like Attendance, Additional, Adorable, Glorious, Madness, unstable so these are examples now suffixes are sometimes called postfixes word endings that add a certain meaning to the word they also change the function or speech part of the base word example home plus less is equal to homeless Care plus less is equal to careless. Icon plus it or IC is equal to iconic. Well plus ness is equal to 
wellness. Prefixes are a type of affix that are placed at the beginning of a word to modify or change the meaning of that word. Your knowledge of prefix helps widen your vocabulary and boost your reading comprehension. Examples Pre plus view is equal to preview. Pre plus post is equal to repost. Sub plus conscious is equal to subconscious. Super plus market is equal to supermarket. Know that to get the meaning of a word, it must be used in a context and there is a clue. When we say context clue, it means you get the meaning of the word as it is used with other words. Therefore, the words that proceed, uh, precede and follow an unfamiliar word will help you get its specific meaning. The word or the word or is a signal that is a meaning for a new word until word will follow. I mean, balita. The word is a signal that a meaning for a new word will follow. Now, let's have watch what's more. Activity 1. Yes. Mm -hmm. For activity 1, mom, the directions change the nouns below into a new word by adding or lie less yan ik at the end of each word, write your answers on your paper. Number one, home. Number two, at. Number three, love. Number four, majesty. Number five, music. And for activity number two, here's the direction. Form a new word or words by adding re, super, sub, trans, and pre to the following words. One, view. Number two, conscious. Number three, store. Number four, agent. Number five, Gender. Next, read the questions below. Infer the meaning of the affix word used in each item. Then, encircle the word that best answers each question. Use separate sheet of paper. Number one. Which word is the opposite of passive? A. Creative B. Active C. Adjective Number 2 Which word refers to the surroundings? A. Environment B. Natural C. Accident Number three, which word would describe an artist? A. Intensive B. Creative C. Nutritive Four, which word means correct reasoning? A. Logical B. Historical C. Critical Number five, which word describes a person who loves and loyally supports his country? A. Poetic B. Patriotic C. Romantic For number six, which word means a plan presented for action? A. 
classical. B, renewal. C, proposal. Number seven, which word means essential? A, destructive. B, substantive. C, inventive. Number eight, which word suggests hot weather? A, tropical. B, political. And C, tragical. Number nine. Which word has something to do with the study of living things? A. Biblical. B. Biological. C. Surgical. And for the last number, which word means sharing or understanding the feeling or ideas of one another? A. Strategic. B. Symbolic and C. Sympathetic. Okay, I hope all your answers are correct. Now, let's have a recap. What did you learn today, Rico? Mm. Ma'am, I learned about affixes. It is a letter or group of letters added to the beginning or end of a word to change its meaning. It could be a prefix or suffix. Examples of affixes are ens, al, able, os, ness, un, dis, miss, ex, er, and more like. Attendance, additional, Adorable, glorious, madness, and stable, discharge, misunderstand, exhale, and irregular. Very good. How about you, Dale? I also learned about suffixes, mom. These are sometimes called postfixes, word endings that add a certain meaning to the word. They also change the function or speech part of the base word. Examples are home plus less is equals to homeless. Care plus less is equals to careless. While icon plus ick is iconic. Well plus ness is wellness, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Any other answer? Me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I've learned about prefixes. These are a type of affects that are placed at the beginning of a word to modify or change the meaning of that word. Mm -hmm. Your knowledge of prefix will going to help us widen our vocabulary and it will boost our reading comprehension. Examples are pre plus view is preview. Re plus post is repost. Sub plus conscious is subconscious. Super plus market is supermarket. Wow, that's great. Okay, so that ends our lesson for today. I hope all of you understood our lesson. Always remember that learning and discovering new things is important, but applying them in real life is very important. Till next time, this is Vivian Ramado Clarit saying, Basta'y ligan number one. Basta'y ligan walang iwanan. Mabungaong adlaw ka natong tanan. Bye-bye! Thank you, Kayo. Ma'am Lindale Ramirez or Paul Patrick Gonzalo. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank you for helping. English. Bye. So, So mo na to ang atong isa sa mga leksyon nga atong gi-record para pang grade 5. Thank you! Inaot inyo kung ganahan mo ani nga video, please like, subscribe, and share. Para ni sa mga kabataan. Basta para sa bata, para sa bayan. Kung para sa bayan, para sa bata. Kaya, tara na!
Tayo na sa bayan ang pag-aaral ng ating kabataan. Thank you and mabuhay!